we talked about easements being, let's summarize it, easements being judgment proof. Because the reason why we, we, we're talking about that is because in some of the cases we're working on, we have trial court judges that think that because they're a judge, they can just like make the weather change, <laughs> you know? So uh, what we've done is write an easement contract that requires the new title holder to indemnify the grantee of the easement. So that way there can't be an adverse situation, adversarial situation. There can't be litigation down the road. There can be an arbitration proceeding, but the court can't pull in the easement contract and do anything to it because the parties to the contract aren't part of the proceeding. There is no cause of action. And the whole thing is subject to arbitration, which means it precludes the court from taking jurisdiction. We only need the court to confirm the award. Really nice. We can kind of do what we want. This allows people to exercise judicial power without the bar members getting involved. 